you you had a presentation about what watch? Do you, do you have it on? on yeah, it? of course I have it on. So, presentation about this guy. That's a really, really nice looking wearable watch. How long does the battery last? It should last about a year. And actually the good thing is that because the technology choices that we have, you don't have to actually uh, keep reloading it every night. So it actually works with the regular batteries of, of a watch. So it you know, makes everything a lot easier. Yeah. So you don't have to have another USB you know, yeah. thingy. Internals, is it, is it electronic or is it mechanical? Uh, it's basically Swiss uh, like machine inside. So it's uh, mechanical. And uh, I should have my uh, product designer here because we actually uh -huh. we actually have a Swiss uh, guy who has been designing it, and it's uh, been an interesting combination of, of a, a Russian customer, Swiss guy working at our company as a product designer, and then like Finnish guy, and then half Italian guy, and then an <laughs> Italian art director, and it has been a, a, a very multicultural, very multicultural, yeah. What have been the greatest steps that you have, have done so far? Well, I would say the biggest change, of course, has been in people. Or, uh, and the mentality of working. And of, of course, it's a, it's a huge change and it comes also from our network. And it's, it's uh, something that has been driven really actively from, from the network also. Because we see that uh, the market for the traditional advertising agency and the traditional advertising is really dimming down and it of course because everything is changing so quickly and it's not all, only about the like 30 second spot on TV or, or the print ad so we have been doing a lot of, a lot of things such as the smart or the uh, what watch but we have also been working for example this year we made uh, or turned uh, Nissan Qashqai into a like PlayStation controller that you could play uh, uh, Pro Evolution Soccer with. Nice. And then we created a mug for, for our Paulik, the, the Finnish coffee roastery that actually uses the heat energy of, of the coffee to show pictures on the side of the, uh, on the, side of the uh, mug. Because we're spreading out and, and doing a lot of different things that is, isn't something that an advertising agency would ever do. How did the first design look? Well, <laughs> Of course, it's a different thing uh, if we just talk about the sort of first sketches, mm -hmm. which were totally something different. They were more of monsters from the retro futuristic movies. But from there, uh, through a lot of redesigning, we ended up with actually sort of landing into a place where it's uh, really, of course, one thing I forgot to mention, there's actually four different models of this. So this is the classical one, but then we also have like uh, more modern ones, two of them, and then we have actually a pocket watch. So if you are a pocket watch guy, you yes. can also get that. How was the process, uh, process iterating that? Yeah, basically it was actually a super interesting uh, project because, well, we have a lot, lot of things or a lot of variables. Of course, we did the sort of traditional uh, you know, testing and uh, asking people and showing the showing the designs to different people and and, and even bigger audiences, and asking their their uh, ideas. Then there was the our client's girlfriend who had a lot of ideas <laughs> how it should look, and there was a lot of things that actually had an, an a big impact. We also were were happy to work with uh, other people who are working on the on the project on our side. We. Uh, had few consults on, on, on uh, who are actually like being designing watches for for decades and are really big names in actually uh, in the business. So I would say that it was a long journey with a lot of variables, but the end result is I would say good.